Tonight on Hip on the Spot News. Year 2023 starts with big news in DCS world. We make a review of year 2022 for our community. We discuss the Beyond Video Showcase that was recently released. And we look to the future and what it has reserved for us. This and more on How I Play. Hello Virtual Pilots, I am Andre Celesti and tonight we are going to talk about year 2022 and the future of DCS World. Happy New Year fellow simmers, hope you are all doing well, 2022 gets a pin in the archive books and 2023 is here for some action and yeah, it's going to get some. We got that beyond video we were waiting for, we discovered what awaits us in the near and far future, we had a watch party on our hip discord with our crew and fellow supporters, but as tradition, before we dive in the new additions and information, let's take a look at what was featured in the beginning of last year and what got delivered. Remember all modules mentioned here were covered in our on the spot videos along the year. So 2022 brought to us the amazing Apache. In our books here, the best module of the year. Aegis released their Mirage F1, still in early access with new variants to be released hopefully this year. Abbiamo ricevuto il meraviglioso bellissimo MB339 Aermacchi by our friends at India Fox Teco. The upgraded Black Shark 3 was the cherry on the top for our rotor enthusiasts, and Rasbam brought to us the South Atlantic map that already received many updates since released and continue to shape up nicely. Last year, we also received a 2.8 update for DCS World that brought to us many improvements to the core engine, dynamic weather and lightning as well as many features for the current release modules. Then we got quite a few teasers and announcements like the F100D Super Saber that was mentioned by ED, then the Sky Raider got announced as well, consolidating our thoughts of a future Vietnam map or something in the future. And to add to that excitement, Heat Blur featured their F4 Phantom. Now that's a treat if you ask me. Then the C130J module reveal was a great surprise to all of us. We have more information about this one, so stay tuned for our special video that will air very soon. The Tornado IDS was another great addition to be showcased, the LA7 by Octopus G, the team at Restar Simulation posted more updates on their MiG-17F project as they still wait to get third party status by ED. Flying Iron Simulation updated us on their progress with the A7 Corsair 2 module. Meanwhile, 2022 got very few signs from the Corsair plus the SX class carrier, but enough to steer our imagination to what is to come once the module will get released. The G91 Gina by India Fox Echo that was teased back in 2021 got a few updates along the way in 2022. Rasbam Strike Eagle almost made it last year. And remember, we are closing in for our giveaway of this magnificent module. I will give you more information later in this video. The new Normandy 2.0 map was teased during 2022, but as well is yet to come. Other maps got announced like the Kola Peninsula map, the Sinai map by Henri Tech and the top end of Australia. Alongside all of the additions, we received many new campaigns from our talented creators and a large number of mods and additions, many of them shared in our add-on spotlight series. Make sure you check it out. There are more modules that received updates during last year, some announced before 2022 like the Eurofighter. We hope 2023 will be able to deliver at least some of them. And with that being said, we move on as we gaze upon the beauty of the 2023 and beyond video from ED. The first news that didn't come as a shock for some of us is the NVIDIA DLSS and multi-threading support for DCS World. For those of you wondering what is that about, the DLSS feature stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling. It's a technology found in the latest graphics cards that use AI to generate more frames. It analyzes sequential frames and motion data and creates additional high quality frames. So you mean my dream of having better performance with my crappy computer will come true, yes? No. Uh, got it. Uh, wait, what? 
In our flight community, users have seen this in action in Microsoft Flight Simulator, with mixed results. Why is that? Well, keep in mind that the best results come with the better, newer cars from NVIDIA, the RTX 40 series that take advantage of the DLSS 3 tech for better frames. But I need to sell my car in order to get this graphic card. Yes, Petrovic, we know. Users that still use the previous series can still tap in this tech, but with a previous version of the DLSS that isn't that amazing, and results can vary depending on the game and simulator. But to cut things short, this is a great news for DCS World, for all users, including the ones using VR. Now about multi-threading, we discussed it in a previous video, in short, it will improve the efficiency of CPU resource uses in DCS World. They already tested internally and should be released this year. Looking forward to see it in action. Moving on, the biggest surprise of the year was the CH-47 Chinook. As we hinted in the past, the dynamic campaign will require a full-fledged logistical system. And how cool for ED to think about two types of transport airframes, like the AC-130J, which of course was showcased as well, and now the CH-47 Chinook. The module was showcased with an amazing background music, I gotta say. Let the cargo roll. The Chinook will definitely be a great addition to our DCS world, so we will wait for more information about the new module that in the current video looks like working progress. So we don't expect it anytime soon. But hey, somebody needs to dream. Now, without any doubt, the star of the show was the F4E Phantom. The module looks awesome, no internal cockpit shots as of yet, but the external model shots are looking really good. No doubt, Heat Blur will impress once again with this module when they release it. The next big surprise in detail was the OH-58 Kiowa. The interior shots are brilliant, the attention to detail of every switch and panel looks amazing. Our rotor enthusiasts are really getting spoiled every year. And that is good. It makes you understand how much passion gets shared in this community. Now at the end of the video, we also get to see a World War II Pacific War legend, the Grumman F6F Hellcat. It was another surprise that will go well together with a future World War II update for the Marianas Islands map, the F4U Corsair from Magnitude, all showcased in this video as well, and also mentioning in the first glimpse in a video, the LA-7 by Octopus G, and the Mirage F1EE by Urges Engineering. Notice the refueling probe. For those of you wondering, the A4 Skyhawk mod being shown in a Beyond video is normal. It was previously showcased in other videos by ED. It's part of our community. And even though it's not a full-fledged official module due to other reasons, it's nice to see it every time. We also got to see Paris in high detail and the Tower Bridge in London, part of the Normandy 2.0 by Ugra Media. Yes, and thanks to those scenes, Natasha wants to go shopping again. I'm so sorry, Petrovic. Another notable addition will be the AI S3 Viking that will give our carrier operations the much-needed tanker support. And speaking of carrier operations, not much to be seen when it comes to the super carry improvements that were showcased previously in the Beyond videos. I hope there are no delays happening and uh, that was just a decision due to the video time. So in the end, I can agree with Nick Gray that 2023 is going to be a great year for DCS World. I hope we live good times in order to enjoy it to the fullest. And speaking of time, well, it's time for our sponsor. VR Rock is offering something we deem right for our community. Blue light protection and specialized prescription lenses for your VR headsets. Yes, you heard me right. It's a problem I encountered ever since I started using my VR headset. My friends who wear prescription glasses couldn't enjoy flying in DCS as my headset couldn't safely fit without taking the glasses off. VR Rock will manufacture the lenses according to the prescription information you provide, fitting most VR headsets currently on the market, and will ship it worldwide with the benefit of a tax-free policy. They also include non-prescription eye protection lenses. If you use our Hip Games discount code, you will receive 5% on any order and support our channel in the process. Link is in the video description. In other news, Echo 19 Audio launched the initial version of their P51D and Spitfire audio enhancements for DCS World. They also deliver several quality of life updates to their core mod. 
We also got news from my favorite campaign creators out there. Baltic Dragon is working with Reflected Simulations on the Tornado campaign. Great stuff. If I publish this video in time, there is still a sale available until the 8th of January that you can take advantage of if you wish, with great savings across the entire range of aircraft, terrain and campaigns in the CS world. This is also available in the Steam Winter Sale. And now, before we end this video, let's talk about the giveaway. One Strike Eagle is waiting for you parked in the hangar and let's go! All you need to do is to be subscribed to our channel, like our videos that we publish from now on, comment on them and you will be included in the January giveaway selection that will take place by the end of the month. Once a winner is chosen, we will post the results and you will be messaged in order to ship the Strike Eagle module for DCS World, standalone or Steam, no problem. And that's it, thank you all for watching, we are back and ready for a great 2023. Meanwhile, we are missing one of our members. More precise, our dear community manager, Sergeant Dev Rupesh, has disappeared. So the race to find him has started. Do not confuse this to a wanted dead or alive situation, no, no, no. We just hope he is alright. Rupesh, if you hear this, Natasha says that you can have all the cookies in the cookie jar. Just come home. We all hope here that he is alright. If you want to support our channel, at your request we created a Patreon page with uh, new benefits for our subscribers. You can use the thanks button on YouTube, check our sponsors and share our content. Remember to leave us a like if you find the video informative and subscribe to keep in touch with all the latest news on your favorite simulators and games. I am Andre Celesti, reminding you to fly safe and I'll see you next time.